Taking you back to last Saturday, something remarkable happened. St. Louis in scored his first MLS goal with City SC two days after graduating high school. I sat down with the one and only Miggy Perez. Let's just first talk about your nickname. So Miguel Perez, but everyone calls you Miggy. Where did that come from? My mom, I've, she, she's always called me Miggy, and I think, uh, I don't know how it got around, but I think uh, they started saying it around here. It comes from my mom, so I think, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good nickname. Pretty special. Yeah. If you don't know him yet, get to know him. Miggy is an 18 year old who graduated from Pattonville High School in Maryland Heights this past May. The same week, he scored his first MLS goal. He's the second homegrown player in the history of City SC. Now, before making his debut for City SC's U17 team in 2021, he went up through the ranks playing for local clubs JV Marine Academy and St. Louis Scott Gallagher. The, the year that I was able to work with him in the 70s, I think he's a great kid, um, loves the music. I know for sure I got many times to be around him driving and him and other guys put in the music for which I, I think, I don't know if it is a good taste for myself, but for him, I guess. It's a player that stays on, on, on focus on the task. There is a lot of competitive soccer in St. Louis before you hit this level. So if we're still in high school, you're still playing with Gallagher and the competition. Do you feel like that really prepared you to be able to get in a space like this? It's prepared me well. I think good coaching, uh, playing with good kids. So I think, uh, I mean, good, good competition all around. So I think it's prepared me for this. So you graduate high school on a Thursday. Yeah. Then you score your first ever MLS goal on a Saturday with your hometown team. What does that mean to you, and how much did that one goal mean to you in the time frame? Yeah, I think uh, everything has happened so fast. I think uh, it's, it's been crazy these, these past few months, but I think just coming out to training every day and working uh, hard and trying to improve, I think uh, it paid off on Saturday with the goals. If I would be his shoes, I would be, you know, obviously having the moments of my life because, uh, I mean, I remember I used to play professional, and it, those moments are the best moments that you can have as a player because you know, you have a backup of your hometown and, you know, being able, to, like you say, going back to school and you still have a normal life of, of all these people that wanted this and now being him as someone that is living it within, it's, it's fantastic. What were the emotions after that goal? I saw everyone coming around you and supporting you, hyping you up, getting so excited. I ran left because that's where I was going, but then I, my parents were on the, the right, so my mom was in the stands and my, with my brothers, so. I think I ran to them and uh, showed them love as well. Everyone is getting behind this team. They're getting behind you. Did you feel a sense of roar? I heard it was like the loudest it has ever been. When we got back and they uh, said my name on the announcement, I think uh, it went wild and uh, I couldn't focus. I, I was still smiling from the goal. There were six players who were 20 or younger who scored a goal and you were the youngest on Saturday. When you hear that stat, what's the message that it's just a number. It tells I mean, younger kids that they can do it also. I think uh, me being a role model to them as well. When you saw that St. Louis was getting an MLS team, long overdue, how cool was that that not only did St. Louis get an MLS team, but you get to be a part of this community? Yeah, I think uh, when it first came, I was still playing uh, basketball and baseball at the time. So I think I had to take soccer more serious because I think that was the one I enjoyed the most. But. At the time, I, I loved playing all of those all those sports. So I think uh, soccer took over when when we got an MLS team, and I wanted to I wanted to join that. What message to you in particular has really stuck with you? Coach tells me uh, uh, play like you belong. I think that's uh, that's stuck with me. We're only facilitating his ways, and everything else is on him. And I think every coach that has been around him in the past ten years. Um, should feel, you know, uh, proud of what he has become. You know, last night I was watching the match and they did a close up and he was like yelling at the guys like he's 18, but he's he's still one of the players. He's, a, he's pretty cool. He was telling me that everyone has been telling him you're a leader, too. That's what the coaches are saying and the players themselves. So pretty cool. Miggy is remarkable. Thank you all so much for joining us for Sports Sunday. That's right. We'll see you again next week.